today's video, we're gonna take this bathroom that has a real light texture and a bunch of repair work and turn it from this into this. But also, how many bags of Easy Pro Texture is it gonna to take to do this entire bathroom? Let's find out. So I just removed our bag number one, going to bag number two. So we just finished bag number two. We're about a quarter of the way done. Bag number three. When I shoot texture, very important point, pull the trigger first and then squeeze the bag. If I squeeze the bag first, I'm gonna get a big blop of texture because it fills the barrel before it's actually flowing. So pull the trigger, squeeze the bag. And notice I'm using small circles to blend the texture. So here's bag number three, but something I want to show you that's really important. Notice how this bag is collapsed in on itself. We got every ounce of texture out of this bag. So when you use our product, you're going to use every bit of it. And it's never going to get hard in the bag. It's never going to be unavailable to use if there's more texture in the bag. So we're doing pretty good so far. We've got three bags down. We're about at least halfway through our project. So, bag number four. One of the key benefits about Easy Pro Texture and the Easy Pro Texture gun is the ability to get into tight spaces. And you don't have to stay up like you do with a hopper gun in the upright position because you're squeezing the bag. So as you notice, I can turn the gun sideways. I can tuck it in behind a cabinet. get into all those tight areas that would be difficult with a hopper. So as I spray over this, these walls that have a light texture on them, I'm spraying a little bit more of a medium texture on them. And then when I hit these areas that are patches, I watch to make sure that the texture that I have on the, the repairs matches the walls. And that's really easy with the Easy Pro gun because if it doesn't match the first time, I can just go over it again and add a little bit more material. Bag no number four is done, bag number five. So I'm using the technique of shaking the bag, but as I'm sure you've seen in some of our other videos, the mixer is a much more thorough way to mix. But these are brand new bags and ready to go, so I don't need the mixer on these. So as I spray, I'm using a circular pattern, and the reason for that is if I were to go back and forth, you have a tendency to leave lines. So by going in circles, I'm blending over from one circle to the next, and it makes that pattern very even, and you can't see any lines. So once again, the Easy Pro Texture Gun is great for these tight areas. I have a real narrow wall here that's adjacent to the door. It would be really hard to get a hopper up against this because it'd be banging on the door with our gun. Get right in that corner. It's like an airbrush. It just gets a real tight pattern, great quality, great consistency. So Bag number five is done, going to bag number six. So another key benefit to the Easy Pro Texture gun is the fact that it shoots at 60 PSI. And what that does for us is it allows us to even shoot the ceiling standing on the floor because it projects the texture out so well. So one of the best features about the Easy Pro Texture gun is the ease of cleanup. So the trick to cleaning in a sink is cup your hands, let a little water sit in your hand, dip the tip in, spray a little of that water through the tip, and it's perfectly clean. Hey everybody, we finished the texture and the remodel on this bathroom, so we want you to see what the end results are. Came out great.
So as this project dried, we realized that we needed to add a couple more bags to fill in spots that just weren't quite heavy enough. So the texture actually took a total of eight bags. Most bathrooms have a tile surround, this one doesn't, so your smaller bathroom very likely won't need as many as eight bags. So we got a great result on this project. The texture's really flat, no high spots. And the way that we achieved that is we took a 12 inch blade and we ran that across all the walls and across the ceiling before we painted. And what that did is it gave us just this perfect even texture. So a pro tip, remember after you do your texture, run a blade across it after it's dry before you paint. Hey guys, I know you got good info out of this video, so click on this one and see our other products and how to use them.